The center post along the east wall of the 1608 church yielded a unique artifact. This unusual object was located in the post mold, or the location where the wooden post once stood. After the church fell into disrepair and this post was removed, this and other artifacts fell or were thrown into the void left by the removal of the post. Join us for the moment of discovery. Mikey's right, I think. It's cool. Wow. Oh. 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 Dramatic. I'm Bly Straub, the senior archaeological curator. And this is the object you just saw coming out of the ground. Um, we still don't know what it is for sure. Uh, we're calling it a coupling device. Now, as you can see, it's still uh, in process of being conserved. You can see bits of rust around it. Um, it's going to take a few more months. Um, it's already been since the summer. It's been under, cons under uh, conservation. It takes a while. Um, if you look on the side here, you can sort of see that it's made up of, of two sections um, that are held together by these alignment pins that are not fastened, they're just used as guides. So it's as if this is um, an element that required to be parted and put back together um, often. It wasn't a permanent attachment. Um, and then it has little grooves on the inside. And our idea is that perhaps it is a coupling device for two sections of pipe, perhaps lead pipe, be pipe of another type of material. Um, and then this would be the area in which they were joined. So thinking about pipes, maybe a well. Uh, we know that they had a pump um, in one of their wells. And this may have been a device to assist in the joining of sections of pipe. Uh, we're still doing research on that. I've looked into bilge pumps. I've contacted my colleagues in underwater archaeology for ideas. And they all sort of agree that that's a good um, path to go for identifying this object. <laughs>